placing an island wall is very similar to placing a regular wall. You just click on Add Island, and you put it up the length that you want the island to be. So if we wanted a four-foot island, we just type 48 inches, click OK, and we have this dotted line that's basically an invisible surface to work off of because you could have multiple units you know, on this side, and you could have a, a raised panel back on there. And you'd want everything to kind of be contained into one elevation, uh, one floor plan. So this, this way you can move things around a lot easier and modify it. Now, I can still hold my mouse key down on the center of that dotted line and move it. And notice I got the grid squares. These are one foot grid squares to kind of line things up if I need to with some other location. Let go. Now, the only difference between an island and a peninsula is that the fact that this is actually touching a wall. Essentially, peninsula, you just put up an island wall and you've got a peninsula and you have a place where you can put cabinetry. I'm going to bring this back down into the floor plan view here. Notice the number four and the 48. That's considered the back side, just like it is with a regular wall. The one thing with an island is you can actually put cabinets on the back side of this. So let's go ahead and just put a cabinet up on this side. And I'm going to drag it up and make it the full width. And notice the one is up front here. I can double click back on that and make that 48 just to make it nice and even. Okay. Now, you notice the one. That's the front side where the cabinet's facing. If you want, you can double click off to the side. You're looking straight at it. Now, if we want to work on the back side, we just take our mouse pointer above the countertop in this imaginary surface and right mouse click. With the right mouse, it will tell you you're on the back of the wall. I can now put cabinets facing the other way, make them taller, uh, make them less in depth. I can come down into the menu here and come down to base panels, go to base panel back, and you know you can just start putting things up on the back side however you want. And you can extend the countertop in any direction you want. And what you're going to find is that, you know, you need to put a corbel under there. You can. There's all sorts of things. Now, left click brings you to the front. Right click to the back. We go to 3D. And, and you see it's a simple island, nothing special. It just, but it is an island. Now, we'll return to 2D. What's important is that you can hold your mouse key down here and still drag that and all the units will move with it. So once again, an island's pretty straightforward to do. Uh, if you wanna change something on it, just double click on the dotted line, make it bigger. Uh, you can change your view, put more than one unit on it. And the program will really let you do all sorts of things. You can even save islands to your unit menu if you'd like.